Hey, it's time with Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for doing this video. Making yourself a priority. I am Denise. Today, we're just going to do a day in the life kind of video. I thought I didn't know what I felt like doing. There may be some cooking involved. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'm on the mend. I'm no worse. I'm slightly better, but I'm no worse. So we're just going to take it easy. So I just made my breakfast. Didn't know what I felt like. Generally, days you just don't want you feel like eating. That's rare for me. I say, no, I'm not feeling the greatest because I don't have a taste for anything. So I just had a... You're going to laugh. Blueberry alternative bagel, which did not taste like blueberry. Bacon egg sandwich. So I will show you that. And I'm not sure. We may be going out today. Steve said you want to go to this place called Dragon Village. And I'm like, you know what? I just don't feel like staying in the house today. I think because I'm just not feeling the greatest. I just want to get out in the air. Sometimes I feel better when I'm outside. But we may go over there. It's kind of like a marketish Amish type I don't even know because we haven't been there yet so I'm curious you know so we'll see we'll see what happens if it's worth filming I'll film if this whole day is worth it you'll see it and if you don't see it then obviously I didn't upload it but we'll see where I go so let's go get our breakfast breakfast this morning is a bagel sandwich I'm using a western alternative bagel uh, egg and regular bacon on Better Balance, it is 4.7 points. On WW, it is 5 points. I also am going to have a second egg because, you know, why not? It doesn't add any points. <laughs> or in either plan. So this is my breakfast this morning. I've I tasted this blueberry one before. It doesn't have a very strong blueberry flavor. So if you're looking for a blueberry flavor, I wouldn't get this bagel. It's very kind of not blueberry-ish. So I don't mind it. But that's my breakfast this morning. It does have 8 grams of protein in this alternative bagel. I will tell you that. They also have bagels that have higher um, grams of protein as well. If you're interested, I do have a discount code, so let me know and I will share it with you. I'm going to eat my breakfast this morning. All right, change of plans. We're not going out. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. So I'm just going to hang around. I'm going to, I'm going to need to make some dip, some ranch dip. You guys can watch me make that. We're going to make some chili. We're having, um, I think I want to make pumpkin chili. Steve doesn't really want that, but he's not cooking, I am. So I think we're going to make the pumpkin chili. I may make a cookie today. I'm thinking about making a oatmeal cookie for one. Um, better, what's, you know, might as well do it now, right? Um, I just finished up my What I Eat video that will have to, um, I did review a pillow that you will see. It is called a butterfly pillow. Look how cool it is. It's very comfy. It's memory foam, very soft, and it just makes you feel better, cradles you. What I loved about it, you'll see it in the video, was this little butterfly divot. It's good for your arms, but it's also good for your CPAP machine. Because I normally don't do pillow reviews, but I thought to myself, wait a minute, that might work for my CPAP machine, and it works beautifully. So, so I'm going to get that video uploaded, and I'm going to... Do the breakfast dishes and we'll make some dip. I feel like hummus too. I don't know, maybe we'll do hummus too. I feel like hummus. Because Steve brought some roasted red pepper hummus and it was divine. So I'm like going, I can do it for hummus. Did that through, it could be, I think I just make, make garlic hummus. Just, it's my favorite. Make some garlic hummus. I feel like hummus because I have carrot chips and I got little mini bell peppers to eat. So what's not better to eat than with than some freaking hummus, right? So we're going to grab some beans while we're down here in the pantry and we will come back and make some dips. Alrighty, we're going to make some hummus because I'm feeling hummus. A can of garba. I'm making one can. I would love to make two, but I just don't feel, you know, I don't know what we're going to in for this week so I always can make more it doesn't take me hardly anything to make this so oh I have to save this remind me Peter wanted me to save the liquid because he wants to make some kind of a drink with it I totally forgot last time so I'm going to grab a cup and I'm going to put it's called agua fava I think which I call it chickpea juice so I need to grab a Jesus glass <laughs> and we'll dry the chickpeas there we go. Oh, look at all of it. There we go. That's for Peter. It's a lot. I didn't think there was that much in there. You know, when you put it in the sink, it don't feel like that much comes out, but apparently it does. 
We'll say that for him. And I'm going to grab my mesh strainer. And I'm going to drain, well, drain whatever's left and rinse them. Then we're going to get our little East Cool 5-in-1 hand blender. And we're going to, that's what's great about baking one can. I can use that Ace Cool to get one whizzed up. And I decided to use a bigger can of pumpkin because I'm going to give some to the dog. I think it's good for him. It's good for him to have a little pumpkin. It's good. It's low and fat. It's good for him. So we're a big can. And maybe we'll do something else with it. Maybe we'll make some oatmeal or, I don't know. I can do everything with pumpkin. It doesn't bother me. So I have my chicken thawing. Um, I'm also going to put a can of refried beans in there. I like it. Um, a can of Great Northern. You could use cannellini, white beans, and possibly I'm undecided about the chilies. Yeah, it's kind of a riff on the skinny taste pumpkin chili, but with the ingredients that you have on hand, you now we don't always have stuff. Took them off. And yes, I put, I put two cans of pumpkin up. This I'm going to save because I think we're going to use the big can. Use half of that. So I'm going to get my get my stuff for my um, hummus, and I'll be right back. One can of chickpeas rinsed and drained, half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, salt, and about four garlic cloves. You can see them. There's one right there. And I have half a lemon. I've got to find my lemon thingy. I just saw it. I don't know where it went. Somebody just used it. Maybe it's in the drawing board? I felt like I just saw the lemon thingy. Oh, here it is in the drawing board. I know it's just out. I'm just going to squeeze half a lemon right in there. Try to be a little bit neater. Lemon just makes it bright. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to keep whizzing it in my little five-in-one hand blender. You know I love this. And I've shared it many times. I did a review on it. Oh, God, it's been a year now. It is linked to my Amazon store. It is a great little powerful thing. It is a five-in-one hand blender. You just have to whiz this baby up. Between, you scrape down the sides and you process it until it's as smooth as you like. Everybody likes their hummus a little bit different. You can decide. And again, you can, like I said, you don't like lemon, don't put it in. If you have herbs, parsley would go really good in this. Um, basil is fantastic in this. Um, those would be the two I would use. Cilantro probably would be good. I love putting beets in here, spinach, some pepper. Just remember, Chickpeas are kind of bland. I'm going to add a little bit more salt as well. And a little zhuzh of olive oil. I think I have olive oil somewhere. Let me see if it's in here. Yeah. Just a tablespoon of the whole entire thing. Right, so you don't have to worry about it because, you know, you're not having the whole tablespoon at once. So it's good for you fats. Don't forget that. Just because it's fat, don't make it bad. In fact, it's a bad wrap. And we're going to keep whizzing her up. I taste and need a little bit more salt. It's a little too thick for me, so I'm just going to put a tablespoon of water to thin it out. And whizz her up. So there is our hummus. I like to use the old pre-chopped garlic on top here. Just how, how you see it in the store. Drain it. Just like that. And an itty bitty drizzle of toasted sesame oil. Because we didn't use tahini, we really don't have that sesame background. But, like I said, look how much I have. Not even a teaspoon. I'm going to drizzle that over the garlic. There you have your protein infused, low point, low bite hummus. Is I have this on my website and my all my recipe areas have my hummus. It's super duper easy and light and delicious and quite tasty. So on to the next right, step. Time to make some ranch dressing. 
in my jar, and I easily easy for me to make it in a jar, I have half a cup of 1% milk. You could use any milk you have. I believe almond milk will work from what I've heard, but honestly, it's not that many points to use the 1% um, anyway. And we're going to put two tablespoons of just white distilled vinegar because we're making buttermilk. I used to buy buttermilk, but I never went through all the buttermilk, so it's just easier to make my own. And I always have white distilled vinegar. I always have 1% milk. So you just swish it around. That's my top of my pepper. And we're going to let that sit for about five minutes. You can see already on the sides, it's already getting curdled. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of powdered buttermilk. You don't have to add this. I have it. I got it at the Amish bulk store. I mean, look how much I pay for it. It's certainly cheap enough for me to grab it. And we're going to add some powdered ranch. They get it at the Amish bulk store too, which pretty much has this in there, but I add a little bit more again because I have it. If you don't have it, then don't use it. And we're just going to add some non-fat Greek yogurt. So that is going to be the bulk of our ranch. It's pretty easy. Now I have fresh chives that grow outside wild in my, not really wild. I did plant them. They just come up every year. I would snip some in there if they were out now, but they're not quite out yet. So I'm not going to put any chives in there, but if you have fresh chives, go great in here. I mean, look at that. You can see it's already gotten thicker. That's by us chatting. Look at that. Buttermilk. Yes, you can make your own buttermilk. So I'm going to grab the yogurt. And then by that time, we'll be able to get our, our tablespoon of powdered buttermilk in there. And we're going to put a couple tablespoons. This is getting pretty of our ranch. So you can use the packet of ranch. That'll work too. You can make your own ranch dressing too. Well, this powdered ranch dressing. But you would need the powdered buttermilk. <laughs> I guess you could probably even use powdered milk. I think that would work. So I'm going to throw two tablespoons of this. And everything is on Dish With D. Which the points for Weight Watchers versus Better Balance are going to be basically the same. Because it's kind of like the same zero point foods are being used. So they really work. That's why these two plans are going to be inter interchangeable. I'm going to use a little bit of the Trader Joe's ranch because I have it and I like it. If you like more green, you could actually put some fresh parsley in there or dried parsley. I'm going to see if I have any dried parsley. Oh, let me whiz this up really quickly before we get our yogurt in there. And the buttermilk will help thicken it a little bit. If you want it thicker, I do suggest using some quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And that's all you need for this whole entire amount because it's... Okay pretty potent stuff. Now I don't measure my yogurt because this is zero point food, <laughs> but I would say about a cup. And I think the cheap yogurt works fine for this. There we go. Again, you can get your little thing with this. Come on your flavors. If you like, you know, spicy, like chipotle ranch, you can put chipotle powder, you know, horseradish ranch, <laughs> there's some horseradish. I mean, again, it's pretty easy to make this adaptable for most plans and most people. But I am going to grab the xanthan gum because I feel like it needs a little, I like it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to grab my xanthan gum. I keep it in a little container. And I do measure it because you don't want to put too much. Too much, yeah. Some things too much does matter, and this would be one of them. So I use a quarter teaspoon. And this bag, I'm telling you, will last you forever. That's all you needed. This was it. And then just mix her in. Look at that, because he got thick already. And that is how you make a quick, really, in my opinion, zero point ranch dressing. Because I don't eat the whole entire jug. You say, oh, D, it has milk in it. It does. 
And am I eating this whole thing at one sitting? I'm not. I usually eat, use a couple of tablespoons. Good shake. I always shake it right before I use it. And I keep it in these, I like to reuse jelly jars and stuff like that for purposes like this. So yeah, zero point ranch dressing done. In my pot, I have ground chicken that I brown. To that, I'm going to add a can of diced green chilies and a can of white beans. Find them. Hold on. Yep. I'm going to put some pumpkin puree. About a cup and a half. Okay. Two cans. Two cups of pumpkin and a can of refried beans went into the pot along with about two cups of chicken stock. I'm going to combine well. Alrighty, let's combine our spices. It's cumin, oregano, and chili, again. Bake it to your taste. I'm just, like I said, this is a riff on skinny taste pumpkin white chili, so I'm just doing what I have on hand. I'm gonna let it simmer for a little bit. All right, Let's, let's see if we can make an oatmeal cookie for one. In my bowl, I have half a cup of quick oats. Now, could you use rolled oats? Probably, I'm using quick, because that's what I wanna use. I'm gonna make a peanut butter oatmeal. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of peanut butter powder. Also, I wanted to give it some bulk. And I'm using the butterscotch flavor of peanut butter powder that I get at Cape Island Foods, which you know I talk about it all the time. All right, we're going to put some flour. I think it needs to give it some body. And we'll do a teaspoon of flour. Not sure what that's going to do, but I feel like it needs a bit of flour. Oops, sorry about that. All right. I'm avoiding an egg because I just don't want to waste one today. So we'll see how it comes out. This might be a hot mess. It might not work. All right. I'm using brown sugar substitute. You use whatever brown sugar you want. This is getting a little bit hard to use. do two tablespoons since I don't have to count it but again you use brown sugar one I'm using the um Pruvia sweet complete but again you use what you want I need some cinnamon I could find where my cinnamon is thought I had it out because oh, I feel like oatmeal cookies need to taste like cinnamon just a little sprinkle Add a dash of salt because you know everything needs salt to taste good. All right, that's all our dry. Let's see, get this all broken up. There we go. Again, you can share this cookie. It doesn't you don't have to feel the need to eat it all. You know, you can share it with a friend. Now, the only liquid I'm going to use, I think, for more salt, is unsweetened applesauce. Not sure how much we're going to use. We're going to start with two tablespoons. I'm avoiding a banana because, I mean, I think banana would go really good. A banana oatmeal cookie? Sure, why not? This is applesauce peanut butter one. I think I need another tablespoon. Because of that peanut butter in there is going to definitely make it a little bit drier. Okay, that's perfect. Consistency for moi. I'm going to go get a foil lined baking sheet. I'm going to put it in my toaster oven and hope it sticks together. 
There really is no binder in it. But I don't even care for crumbles. Okay. And my four lined baking sheet. Now I'll be able to rush back and preheat my oven to, I think, 400. Parchment lined pan. I don't have any foils. So I'm just going to put my dough, cookie batter, right on top. And we're going to press it out as thin as we can to make a somewhat attractive looking cookie. Okay. Tuck it all in. Okay, fun part. Chocolate chips. Again, you could put as many or as little as you like. You want to count a point, put a point. You want to count two points, put two points, right? That's how we roll. That is a zero point amount. Honestly, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm really, I'm really interested in more of the oatmeal than I am the chocolate right now. But yeah, but you absolutely could put a point's worth. I'm going to bake this. I will let you know how long because I have no idea. D is winging this one and it looks really good that I will tell you. Be right back. Bake for 10 minutes. I'm going to let it cool before I remove her from this parchment paper. Cookie is cooled. Now it's a soft cookie, which I expected it to be, but it's holding up pretty well, I'd say. I think we need a photograph. Oh, chocolate chip came off. Now it's a softer cookie, but some oatmeals are. I didn't put any egg in it. I'm just curious to the taste. I didn't put any baking powder in it. I thought about that. I'm like, you didn't put any baking powder in it. It's really good. Mmm. I like this. It's four WW points and I think 4.4 .4 better balance points, I think. I like it. It's like a soft oatmeal cookie. Mmm. It's a softer cookie. It's not a crispy cookie, but that was what I was going for anyway. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, this chili's been at a low simmer for a couple of hours. It's a little thinner. I did add a little bit more chicken broth. Like I said, it's the um, skinny taste pumpkin, chicken, turkey, chili. I just use what I had on hand, but I can't wait to dig into this tonight. It is zero points on all plans. So, yep, definitely a winner in this house. I will serve it with you know, chopped up onion, the cheese you'll have to count, and any kind of like corn. I might use the WW corn muffin in a thing. So that's what I'll use for that. But that's dinner tonight. So I thought I'd take you along for that. So that's it for me on Sunday. There was a few things that I prepped today. I don't normally do these kinds of preps, but you know, I wanted to put a video out today because get back in the swing of things. I'm getting better each day, but that cookie was off the hook. Actually, I really, really liked it. Even Peter said it good so definitely a, a recipe you can tweak maybe i'll try an egg next time but i love the consistency of it to me that's what i was i was looking for a chewy oatmeal cookie that's what i got i was really happy with it so super excited for that and our chili is going to be here i'm going to make a ww that little corn muffin that i hauled last week i'm going to think make that to have with my chili because my chili is zero points and bites so i can afford to have a little bit of um cornbread so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there's anything here you might want to try. These are standard things I make all the time. My ranch, my hummus. I make that chili a lot. And, you know, I'm making cookies for one. That's a cookie you could even share, too. So, yeah. This way I don't have a whole tray of cookies in there. Because there's a whole tray of cookies. They're going to be in my tummy. So, I will dish with you another day. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Shruti. It is beautiful out. The tree just bloomed over there. So, yeah, spring has sprung here. Yep. So, I will dish with you another day. See ya later, gators.